Hi everyone, my name is Jason. Uh, usually the films that I post on YouTube create a lot of controversy and it's just me being an idiot, me singing to strangers, but today I'm actually focusing on a subject that a lot of people deal with and that won't cause any type of, you know, bad stuff, and that is scratch CDs. I have a lot of CDs, I listen to a lot of weird music too, and a lot of times it's hard to find copies of the CD. And actually, uh, I found a really good solution, like, I, I was looking on YouTube, of course, and on Google, and they said try toothpaste, and metal polishes, and ghetto stuff like that, so I was thinking about it for a while, and then I was thinking about the, you know, the professional type of cleaners, and, um... I found a solution that might be pretty good, so for you people that actually like automobiles and stuff like that, you know, the stuff that you use to keep your paint looking clean, like when you wax it and stuff, this is what I'm referring to, it's a buffer machine, it can actually work really well in um, removing the scratches. So you see the CD is a little, it's not that bad, but you know, it's it's there. I actually tried it on a bunch of discs first, so this is basically like a example, and I use this, I don't know if other things will work, but this works well enough for me, it's called Speed Glaze by Meguiar's, but any type of, you know, buffing liquid or anything will basically work, um, so I just put two little dots, sorry to, you know, working it, okay, yeah, let me put this camera down, this is, try and show you guys. Here you go, so you just uh, move it around, get it all on there, there we go, and then, once you're ready, put this in hand, turn it on, and uh, get to work. Oh, the best way to do it is just hold the disc like this and go with the machine over it. That way you don't put too much pressure, and you know when to stop when the CD starts falling out of your hand because there's too much friction after all the stuff is gone. Oh, 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 I dropped it. Oh, it fail. That was the first time. Maybe I should stand up and do this, not kneel on my knees. Okay. Okay, so if you had a really messed up CD, you know, you could do that for for a while, but this one wasn't too bad. I mean, there's still scratches on it, but if I, you know, keep going for a while, eventually all of it will probably go away. Um, so, you know, you saw how bad it was before. If you take a look now, it's, it's better, you know. I can sit there and do it for a while and it'll get a lot better. It's, it's actually a little cloudy. You're supposed to rinse it off after, so. Um, yeah, there's a bunch of CDs that wasn't working earlier, you know, a bunch of songs just didn't play at all. And then now I got some some of the songs are playing, but they're not, you know, perfect. They're skipping and stuff, but if I run it through maybe two or three more times, it'll probably work perfectly. So, um here's one ghetto solution to fixing your CDs. Hope you guys like it. Later.